Hey guys, what's up? Good morning. I hope your morning is nice. If you're watching in morning or whatever time it is, I hope it's good. By the way, I must say, daily vlogging is really helpful to set up a nice schedule. So, for the sake of that, I'm doing it. And by the way, I just didn't woke up at this time. I'm awake since a very long time early in the morning. So, guys, it's early morning editing the video, which is not the previous one, but previous to previous one and uh, bringing some water after some nice kava chai and by the way this shit show this gopro is still not working that's crazy and yeah by the way <clears throat> today we have to continue with this wallet finish this and i got two more orders and by the way after this there was one more order and then those two orders so a lot of work to do. and today i'm going to talk about something special Partly because I slept the previous evening and because of that now I have to do a lot of work today. Previous orders, some new orders that I got yesterday and man, I hope you enjoyed the previous vlog in which uh, which I haven't even posted in the current timeline if I have to be honest. I'm still posting this, you know. So actually I'm posting this one which I was editing in the morning time this uh, a very introduction of these daily lifestyle vlogging I want to talk about something really important something of uh, some real good importance which is really prominent in handcraft handmade leather goods or any kind of other business which a lot of people ask there's curiosity among people why these products are so costly See bro, when I talk about coffee, it's been a very long while since I have been enjoying only specialty coffees because there's a whole tradition involved in it and I actually enjoy the tradition more than the hit of caffeine. I really enjoy grinding the coffee beans, smelling the aroma while I'm making a nice cup of pour over, the tradition of making pour over and then after that a nice cup is brewed and you have a nice pot of coffee in your hand which you just want to enjoy so it's not just a cup of coffee there's a whole tradition involved in it and especially talking about specialty coffees they are hand picked beans which are passed through certain categories of selection and then they are hand washed hand processed and a lot of things happen with them See, in the very similar manner, you should treat handmade products, let it be handcrafted leather goods, let it be any kind of handmade thing which has been crafted by a craftsmanship. So what I'm trying to say here, when people ask me why leather goods that I'm selling or any other craftsman is selling are so costly, like they belong to some luxury brand. See, the thing is that when we craft a leather product, each cut that we make has been made with a lot of focus and a lot of skill. Each punch that we make takes a lot of pressure and focus in it. And then after that, when we sand the edges, when we burnish the edges, and then when we stick them and stitch them together with a lot of patience and pressure on our hands and those saddle stitching it requires a lot of skill in fact each and every process has been honed by a craftsman over a long period of time so what you are paying is not just for the material or even for the labor it is more than that it is actually for the art which you are really paying that person has spent a lot of time learning that art, honing that art, and then after that, spending so much time and focus in making that product for you. And these are not basic products. Let's just talk about this one. You see, it is, it is aging in my pocket since last three months, and it is aging like a real nice fine wine. And all other products that I've been using over course of two years, I must say guys that with time these products mature really well so when you're going out there 
you're not just paying for the quality but when you pick something artistic and bring it in your life it brings so much into your life that you can't even comprehend in one single hour what it is bringing the value these artistic things are bringing into your life let's say you buy a painting it is not just a painting it is a window to a new perception in your life it enhances the beauty of your room in the very similar way when you are buying some handmade leather goods or anything handmade you are bringing something that is going to bring value to your life because these are the people who are putting their soul when somebody is commissioning a product from them so that was all i just wanted to say in this vlog today i didn't have much to share with you guys because i had to finish all other products and uh, i was focusing on that so i didn't get to film a lot i didn't get to blog a lot but i hope i was able to share some value about why handmade goods are artistic and why they cost a lot and why art in general costs a lot i hope i was able to educate people in some way and if i was able to bring some value to you guys make sure to hit the like button because in that way you are supporting the channel and for more such craftsman lifestyle videos on daily basis hit the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video till then enjoy some nice specialty coffee if you can because it's much better than that instant caffeine hit guys stay caffeinated guys i'll see you in the next video